My name is uh, Scott Franklin. I'm with Franklin Kristoff. Uh, we're an American brand. We manufacture here. Um, we're an offshoot of a company that was founded by my great-great-grandfather in 1901. And uh, in 2001, we brought in pens. We used to manufacture ceramics, and so now we manufacture fine pens. We also design and uh, have manufactured for us uh, leather goods, paper, ink, uh, refills, the whole nine yards. So we're a writing related company. Um, this will be our uh, 14th year uh, as a brand. Started in pen shows in uh, 1996. So we were figuring the other day that that was about uh, 18 years or so that I've uh, been coming here. Uh, I think I've been to this show, the DC show every year. Uh, maybe missed one in there somewhere, but this is one we usually don't miss. I was actually in uh, graduate school and uh, for professional writing of all things and uh, took a uh, day job. I had school at night so I took a day job with an office supply company and uh, that uh, owner of that company was a big pen dealer. Some people know him as Jimmy Doleve with Total Office Products. So Jimmy got me into pens and um, I went back to the family and it was the time e-commerce was starting up and so we kind of converted our old ceramics business over to a uh, pen business. We were a retailer, we imported a couple of brands, one was Ferrari Davarese, and so it was, uh, we started doing that in 97, and by 2001 our house brand, Franklin Kristoff, was born. We just used it as a house brand for three or four years, and then we split the two, and I sold out of the retail arm and took Franklin Kristoff Independent, uh, moved from Georgia to North Carolina when I did that, got married. And, and so 2005 is really the date that it was uh, out on its own and, uh, and off and running. We've got a brand new leather in that's, uh, we call it saddle boot leather. In the past we had uh, saddle leather that was an oil pull up and we had a boot leather that was uh, more of a wax. Both of them were chrome tan, or chrome tanned, and so now we have a specially tanned, just for us, a vegetable tan leather that has both a wax and an oil pull-up content. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. Our boot leather's been really popular. We added the uh, maroon color, so we have maroon, black, and brown. These were uh, pen cases I designed several years ago. They have, uh, uh, this is the Pimvelope 6. It has the six pin slot. It's got a magnet enclosure. You'll notice the design element on almost everything we do is to add the bevels. They're on the tops of the pins and on all the leather pieces everywhere, you, uh, everywhere we have a chance to put it. Uh, these are our new 20-pin uh, cases. We added the uh, bevel here on the binding. We extended the binding. We have this in the three colors, maroon, brown, and black. We'll do some two-tone very soon. We've improved the interior over time. We added double loops uh, about a year ago uh, just to keep the pens from getting squirrely. And we've added, uh, we've got a different uh, fabric here so that uh, it's got a little bit more padding. It kind of cradles your pens a little bit better. So we really feel like we've got an optimum case. We have these that go out this way so when you display your pens, it looks like this. This is our uh, paper. We, uh, we have a special paper formula that we worked with. It's a sugar cane extract. Uh, type of paper. It, um, it's, it's smooth, it's not too slick, but it's smooth. It uh, is absorbent, it's uh, resistant to feathering, and, uh, and resistant to bleed through. So it's a really great paper for fountain pens. We call this the uh, Firmaflex, and the idea behind it is it's flexible, gives you that nice feel, but yet when you get to the last few pages here, it's still firm enough to give you some support. So we sell the books like this in three sizes, and uh, this is the A5. We have the A6, which is half the size, and the A4, which is twice the size. Then we're doing, uh, in our new saddle boot leather, we're doing uh, covers. So of course we do everything with pins in mind. We have pin loops with a uh, uh, flex band here so you can fit thick or thin pins. And then, uh, as you can see, our notebooks. The pins are really our heart and soul. We're a team, we all kind of co-design. Uh, <clears throat> a gentleman by the name of Dan Simons is a uh, engineering mastermind, and so he and I get together and we come up with these, uh, with these designs. We now uh, have the shop moved to Raleigh, North Carolina, so we're doing everything there. This is the uh, 33 Abditus. 
Abditus is Latin for secret or hidden. Uh, the entire pen fits up in the barrel. So this is essentially the cap of the pen. And this is the uh, barrel of the pen. Over here we have our tester kit <clears throat> where you can see we have 41 nibs that will fit these pens. Uh, 41 different options, half steel, half gold. And uh, it gives people a good chance with a tester kit to be able to figure out what nib they really like with our pens. And then we, uh, we basically build them to order right here at the show. Or uh, it's the same thing when somebody orders online, they may order this and want a medium stub nib by Mr. Masayama, who's on my left. And, um, and so we take it and we tune the nib, test it, make sure everything's fine, assemble it, and ship it out. So there's a lot of personal attention. They're not just sort of mass marketed, pulled off the shelf and shipped. We really pay attention to every single fountain pen. So this is uh, one of our latest. Uh, we, we've gotten to be known for the ice effect that we've been able to achieve in these pens. And we do the, uh, we do the smoke and ice, and it's probably our number one seller. Here at the show, we've just uh, come out with the uh, emerald ice and the maroon and ice as two offshoots. We have them here at the show. We'll probably make some more. We'll see how it goes. Probably will become part of the line. The idea behind this pen is we put in an exaggerated taper so that the cap posts more deeply. So it becomes a shorter, very well balanced pen in the hand. And it, we have the uh, block threads on the end. This does a couple of things for us. It actually breaks the uh, air chamber so that you don't get a suction effect created. And we have a very small air chamber for the nib so it mitigates dry out. The uh, 03 is called the Aterum. That's uh, Latin for uh, to do again, essentially. And so it mimics the original Franklin Christoph pen, the Model 01 IPO. The idea behind this pen, it tapers slightly here and here. It's good for doing overlays. It's good for doing maki e work. Uh, Dan was able to achieve uh, such precision on the machine that we call this a precision posting and it fits right there and there's just no wobble. You can't even make it wobble. Uh, so it's a real good and it's lightweight. Of course, it's still long enough that you can write with uh, without posting. So the Model 03 is the latest model that we've come out with and it's, um, it's done really well and reminds us of the old days with the uh, simple IPO we had in all black. This is something we uh, have done uh, for the first time. First time these have been seen at the show. We took our tester pins, which we call the Model 66 or 65, and we did an ice version. Uh, these are real popular to do eyedroppers. The ice really creates a neat effect with a color when, uh, when you put it in there. So we expect these to go quickly. Here's an example of a cutout of the Pocket 40 unfinished that we just sawed in half, and it gives you an idea of what all is going on. Not sure if you can see it that well, but uh, you've got a pretty tight air chamber up here to keep that nib from drying out. Dan cut that not long ago. <clears throat> Something we do, like when you see these bands, uh, that's not built in the acrylic. We actually make these a separate piece. So that creates a couple more operations on the uh, pin. So this would be an eight piece pin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you've got operations that you've got to do on both sides of that on the machining. And if you look at this, this gives you an idea of what's going on here. So the band is actually bigger than you see revealed on the outside, and it gives it a lot of stability. You just can't, you just can't uh, uh, break it. It's not going to come undone. Uh, so that's, uh, that's something else that we kind of do that's uh, particular to Franklin Kristoff. Of course, a lot of people know that uh, the, these pens are all cut from uh, solid rods of methocrylate acrylic uh, that we use. And so we would uh, start with a piece like this to make a band like that. This is a smoke piece here. Of course, the, uh, the rods are a meter long and we cut them to size. Dan, one uh, brand new thing we have, this is, uh, this is one of our tester pens, but we have a Kristoff nib. And uh, this is the Kristoff nib. It was uh, custom made uh, for us. Um, and it's uh, uh, a music nib. So it has two slits or three tines. And uh, we're really excited about this. It adds the uh, 41st option to our, uh, to our uh, nib selection. So instead of, instead of just a measly 40, we now have 41 options. And uh, we have our very own music nib. I've loved music nibs uh, dating back to the 90s and I've been wanting to do this for a long time, so happy to have this in the lineup. It's already selling here at the show.
franklin-christoph.com and uh, Christoph is like Christopher without the ER. Christopher is my middle name. That's how we did it with an amalgamation of the uh, name. The old company name was the Franklin Company and there was already a Franklin pen. I didn't want any confusion there and I wanted to add a little bit of uh, something to it so we came up with Franklin Christoph. Indulge.